Hey, welcome to another video. This is what is very likely to be my last video this league in the how is X in 3.21 and we're going to end it off in guardian map rotations. This is basically the four mini boss maps you need to defeat in order to face the Shaper, one of the many end game bosses in Path of Exile. In this strategy, you are going to take Maven Witness, run the four maps, and then do the Maven Invitation where you fight all four bosses at once. The main profit driver in the strategy is going to be Shaper Fragments, which have a 100% drop rate from their respective maps, and Maven Ritz, which is used to face the Maven boss and drops from the Maven Invitations. I'll take a second here to say that if you like the content and would like to see more, let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm still on the grind for YouTube partnership and every subscriber helps towards that goal. Thank you. Because this strat is a glorified boss rush strat, we are once again taking a look at our best friends of the fast mapping strategy. It's pretty open on what you decide to choose to supplement the strategy, but I once again went with the usual suspects. Essence, Heist, Harbinger, and the return of Bestiary. You can definitely drop Bestiary nodes and make Alva Temples or do some Syndicate missions. It's pretty open on what strategies you do, but I would definitely recommend mechanics that can be done very quickly. Next, for builds. While the Guardians themselves aren't too hard, you're still going to want a build that kills them quickly. A lot of your profit per hour is tied to how fast you can get through these rotations. I did it what's likely to be this league's most broken build, Spectral Shield Throw. But any build that does amazing boss damage with semi-decent clear is what you're going to be looking for when doing this strategy. I rolled the maps to have about 80% quantity and was rolling the invitations to have the same but it's actually pretty rare to get an invitation to roll that high as they don't have the chisels to bump it up to have an extra 20% base quant. So in the end, I rolled them to have about 65% quantity. So here we have the Atlas tree. We're going to go over to the left and take the extra Einhar mission on map completion chance. We're going to take the essence nodes, taking the smuggler's stash chance, taking the three extra essence node, Take the bestiary wheel on the left to get big game. More essence nodes in the middle. We're going to come over to the right later, but we are taking the amplified energies node. And then we are going to take all three harbinger wheels. Coming over to the left, we're going to take the extra smugglers uh, stash chance and chance to get deception contracts. We are coming over to the left and the top. Of the, uh, of the wheel to take all the Einhar nodes. Then we have the extra blueprint chance, fully revealed blueprint chance, all that in the middle here. And then we are also just going to take all the boss map nodes. And I would like to actually point out these Maven nodes in the top middle, give extra chance for invitations to drop. And when you have Maven Witness, invitation drop chance is already pretty high, so this actually increases it by quite a bit. So I would I would highly recommend these nodes. I get a lot of formed invitations during this strategy because of these nodes. Here, we're going to take a quick look at the loot I received from 20 rotations of the strategy, meaning that altogether I did 80 Shaper Guardian maps and 20 Maven invitations of the formed. I don't think I got particularly lucky during this test. I got two Awakened Gems that both go for less than 40 Chaos, and no Divine Drops and a single Cortex. But if you look at PoE stack, we have over 45 Divines in income. Now I spent about 14 to 15 C per Guardian map in order to do this strategy, and while you can get your hands on Maven Invitations of the Formed for 90 Chaos each, I ended up having to spend about half a divine each in order to buy them in bulk. And then I also took Essence on the map device, so I spent 240 chaos for Essence craft, over 80 maps for extra essences. Now with all that into consideration, we have an investment about 16 divines, so our total profit comes out to just under 29 divines. My build was able to do a rotation of 4 maps and the invitation in about 9-10 to 10 minutes. So if we take the slower average time of 10 minutes per rotation, we come out to a time of about 3.3 hours to run 20 rotations of this strategy, which brings our profit per hour to a whopping 8.7 divines an hour. 
which actually makes this strategy the most profitable strategy I've ran this league for videos I've created. Now, going over some changes I would make to this strategy, Harbinger is not that great, and possibly Bestiary wasn't either. I made about just over a divine in 80 maps with Bestiary, and only made about half a divine with Harbinger if you're only counting Ancient, Exalt, and Annulment orbs. Throwing a Metamorph with Gilded Metamorph Scarabs is probably just as fast as sitting around for the Harbinger to spawn everything, and will probably make more money overall. The beasts from Einhar also slowed down some maps as if the essence mob was a beast, you would have to sit around for some extra time in order for Einhar to capture it in order to actually loot the essences. Other than that, essences are as good as ever, 6.2 divines worth of essences for about a divine in chaos invested through the map device. We got pretty unlucky with the blueprint drops with only a single unusual gem blueprint out of 17. If your build is quick and has good bossing DPS, I would highly recommend the strategy. If you made this far in the video, thank you. That'll be it for me this league, aside from maybe a video going over Syndicate in a 101 style video, but that'll probably take some time to edit and figure out how I want to go about it. I'm in the middle of Final Fantasy XIV Prague while making this video, and once that's done, I'll probably dive into Diablo 4. Don't know if I'll make content on it or not, but I guess we'll see. Like if you liked the video, and let me know your thoughts and suggestions down below. Thank you.